Are you using custom editors in your Unity projects? If not, I will show you for what it can be useful and how to create one. The custom editors allow you to customize the properties in the inspector a lot more as you can see here. This is obviously not all of the stuff that you can use it for, but later when you are creating some game and you have like 50 properties on some script, then it can be really hard to find the thing that you are looking for. With your own custom editor, you can add labels, fields, buttons, custom UI elements and a lot more stuff that will make development of your game a lot more user friendly. In my scene, I have just some card on which I have some texts. I have text for the name, damage and health. And I also have a basic script on the card, which is just holding some properties and then texts, which I'm obviously setting to the values of the properties. But if I leave it just like this, it might look a bit chaotic. Right now, as I don't have a lot of stuff here, it isn't that bad. But if I want, let's say, add some custom function, some button that could randomize the properties, I can't do that using just the normal script. If you want to use your custom editor, you need to create editor folder in the assets. And into this folder, you can just create any script, which will be for the editor. First, we will need to add using unit editor and we will derive from the editor instead of the mono behavior. Here before the class, we will add custom editor. Into parentheses, we will type type of and here we need to type the name of the script for which we are creating the editor. So for me, it is the card script. And all of the stuff that we will be doing with the custom editor will be happening inside public override void on inspector GUI, which you can see that Unity has also created for us. And this void is basically updating when we do some stuff with the inspector. So we can see that it has added the base on inspector GUI, which just adds the stuff from this script to the inspector. Because if we wouldn't have this here, then it would be blank. But you might want to keep some of that stuff in the inspector. So for example, I want to keep here the texts, so I will leave it here. And there is a lot of stuff that you can do. For example, you can type editor GUI layout dot, and here is basically all of the stuff that you will be using. You can add, for example, space, which will obviously be just blank space, or you can use, let's say, label field, and into it, you can give it some label. So I could say health, and you can see that I have all of these stuff that is already in the card script because in the editor I have included the base on inspector GUI but I also have added the label field health which you can see here. You might not want to have it here so I could add some space or if I want to have the health above all of the other stuff from the script I can just put it above the on inspector GUI. Like that. You can also add int field, so I can type editor, GUI, layout, that, and then you have the int field or text field and all of that stuff that you would need. Now I might want to add int field, which will be displaying the health, and I will also be able to edit the health. For this, I will need to have reference for the script. So I will create card script, which I will name card, and I can take this just from the target, which will give me the card script that I'm currently editing. But you can see that it doesn't work because I need to cast it as the card script. So now when I want to use the in field, I can say card dot health equals editor GUI layout int field. And then the volume will be the card dot health. And I can add also some other parameters. Yeah, and like this, I can type the health here. And then when I play the game, it should display the health that I have typed here. Yeah, now the health is free. I can type here five and so on. Also, you might want to see the health and the number in the same row. For this, we can use begin horizontal. And obviously we will need to add the end horizontal. And now you can see that it is in the same line, but you can see that the space here is a bit too big. So what we can do is when we have the text, 
we can set it to health and then we can use the GUI layout dot width and just set width of the text. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Also, you might want to change the color of the text. For this, we will create new GUI style. Just create new GUI style. And then you can set properties of this style. So for example, normal dot text color is equal to new color. And now you can assign the style to the text. So first we set the text value, then we can set the style, so text style, and then we can set the other properties as the GUI layout and so on. Yeah, and now we have changed color of the text. Also what we can do is add some buttons. So we will use if GUI layout dot button, and then we can just import name for the button and then something might happen. So I might change the values, so I can say just card.health is equal to random.range. Now with this button, I'm able to randomly change the value of the health and I can also change it here. Also next thing that you can use is a slider. So here, when I have the card health, instead of the infield, I can use slider. Here I will import the volume, so card.health and then just the minimum and the maximum volume, which can be 0 and 10 and I need to parse it as a int because the health is a int type. Yeah, and now I can set the health using the slider and I can also randomize the volume of the health. You can see that the custom editors can be pretty useful, especially when you have some larger project and you have uh, tons of properties on your scripts and you don't want to get lost in it. I hope that this video was useful. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye!